Hello Soul Family, this is Infinity and I wrote the following in a comment on a video about Boris Johnson being hospitalized for COVID-19. I truly thought it would consist of the first two short sentences, but boom went the explosion of words that needed to come out. So, I thought I would turn it into a podcast, so this can be heard and shared easily. I am not allowed to sit idly by in a global bleeping pandemic when I am able to help people. Of course, expressing this and being heard or taken seriously has been impossible. There is too much fear and too many people think that they know that what I say I can do I cannot. They do not know me or what I am and that is an understandable reaction. However, this isn't the time to immediately shoot down ways to heal you or those you live. This is not the time to dick around. Not on any side of this. I continue to receive information about this event for humanity and traditional measures and medicine is ill-equipped to handle the tsunami that is coming without turning their awareness to a person such as myself. The following is the comment that I left. If you have COVID-19 I can help you. See my channel for contact information. And remember great global events are meant to awaken people, humanity is to rise in consciousness. This would also include dissolving prejudgment on those like me. I am a medical medium, I was born this way. I can feel in my body what others feel in theirs. I can heal from across the world, not only for people but for animals too. I am a highly spiritual and connected divine incarnate and you can either choose to believe in me and what I am and my abilities or at least investigate me look at my website, read the testimonials, what the videos of those whom I healed discuss it. Bring me in front of you to show you. This is what I do for any client who wants to work with me anyway, I spend an hour with them over zoom before they pay anything. I want to show them what I can do how I do it and how it feels to have be work with them. So, investigate me. I welcome it. Realize that if I was fake or seeking money a profiteer I wouldn't be putting myself out there the way that I do. I wouldn't offer my COVID-19 services for free, or donate what you can to me because I also have to pay bills, but I will never turn away a soul who comes to me for help. And I can most definitely help. So, decide to evolve or decide to stay in your programming that all psychics and mediums are fake, that we do not have abilities, that we are tricking people. Let's not forget that those same attributions could be given to those who have decided to pretend to be real doctors, who were hired by hospitals and care facilities, who posed as true professionals with degrees. For some reason, when it comes to what I am and what I can do, these attributions are immediately placed upon me without any investigation whatsoever. I wish more investigation would take place in the natural healing and psychic world, because it is true that for every real deal healer, psychic, medium, channel, seer, like me, there are 100 fake ones, and 50 of them are dark, use dark magic and are not of the light like I am, and I too do not like to share space with those people to be in the same category, to be quite frank. However, this is why those like me those who are real, those who will come out when the world needs them, and not ask for money and also welcome investigation upon me and my abilities. I was born to know things, to get information, to be a messenger of truth, to connect people to the divine, to be a voice for the divine and to channel the divine in more ways than one. One of the ways I do what I do is by healing and I can do what I do without needing to be anywhere near the person or animal, and I have a 100% success rate. This is no bullshit. Why suffer? Why risk it? We all know at this point how devastating this illness is, and how quickly people turn from not doing so well, to needing to be put on a ventilator. There aren't enough of those either, there aren't enough of the traditional medical staff to do what needs to be done in the coming weeks and months, unfortunately. I understand this virus in a way that most could not comprehend. When, if not now would be the time to think outside the box and decide to take everything into account when it comes to your wellness even someone like me. Do yourself or your loved one a favor, and take the time to check me out. Of course. I am also offering preventative care. Take care of your energy body now, 
boost your immune system in a way you have never imagined. And please, refrain from alcohol, it lowers the immune system and is the perfect conduit to fear and anger based emotions and vibrations, energies and entities. This is a time when practicing self-care, wellness, eating and sleeping properly which means listening to your body, not your cravings, eating fresh fruits and vegetables. Stop eating meat as much as possible, as this also is not easy energy for the body to process. You should be thinking in terms of doing everything for your mind, body and spirit to raise your life force battery. Your energy is the one thing that will either keep you up, or take you down. This is the truth. Thanks for reading and please, before you decide to come at me, negatively come well armed. Remember, I am someone offering my time, energy, services for free to those who seek healing for COVID-19. Because I can do what I say I can do it really is that simple. Infinite love and blessings. Tilde infinity. End of comment. Please see my website www.thehealingbutterfly.org, which will be mobile optimized within the next few days. Go to my YouTube channel, Infinite Love Light Energy. I'm on Instagram, at the .healing .butterfly. I'm also on Twitter, at infinity underscore 963, and my podcast is called, Evolve Now Lightworkers, with Infinity. Be well, dear ones. Infinite love and blessings. Don't forget the key is to create, I love you already and always live in love.